okay now i'm going to basically uh, load my css and js files right so here in the previous video we added this here and we need to fix the styling issues right so i'm going to add this uh, uh, this css file path this path right so how i i need to add this path right so first i need to uh, move all of the stylings of this theme into my application laravel application right so just to go back into the template and i'm going to click on this assets and i want to move this assets right so just copy this assets and go to your application in my case my application is admin dashboard and here in the resources i'm going to paste this assets i don't want to mention the css in the css folder because i want to make this separate from the default stuff so just paste this out uh, and yes our assets are almost to uh, and they are in the application right this one and now i'm going to basically mention their path right so before adding them here we need to also mention them in the wheat configuration right so just open this uh, wheat config.js and by default it's loading this app.js uh, app.css and app.js so here i'm going to uh, add the theme assets so i'm going to say theme uh, css here so i'm going to integrate the theme css so just go here close this one close this one and just go here and now i need to look at those files right so i'm going to copy this path and whatever the path you know in this case i have resources slash uh, now assets right assets directory uh, if i look at this here uh, assets and then the rest of the path would be same vendors uh, then vendors and vendors contain this MDI and then so on thing, right? Similarly, I'm going to also do this for this um, uh, resources slash and then I'm going to uh, Copy this for multiple time to replace this for other files too Okay, like this Right, okay, and then I'm going to do this for the next file now just to go here and cut this stuff here and paste it out okay perfect did this for these two css plugins and now i'm going to do this for this styling style dot to css okay just to go here and now i'm going to do this for the all right this one this one is an image so later on i will also resolve the images too right so just now remove this and i'm going to add this using the wheat bundler right so how this wheat bundler works so let me first compile those files just give it a save uh, save them and i need to also run this to compile the file so i'm going to run this so npm run dev so it will compile our files in the runtime right so now it's compiling the files and how i can use this here so i need to call this so wheat directive and in the wheat uh, it's accept an array i'm going to pass an array of my all files right so i'm going to also we can also pass this app.css but in this case i'm not using this app.css for now so i'm just going to copy those things uh, here uh, sorry i need to also mention this resources too resources and then later on i need to also do this here also the last one would be this right and uh, paste this out save this one and now let's see what's going to happen it's going to basically compile the files now let's uh, get refresh and see what's going to happen okay yes our css is working now right and we need to work on the js functionality right so i'm going to do this same for the js2 so just move down here and i'm going to do this so here cut this out and i'm going to do this for the js stuff here so just remove this something like this i'm going to do this for this something like this and then doing this okay all ones are completed i'm going to now copy them and just go here and then add them using the wait for blade directive same here and i'm going to paste this stuff something like this right and i'm going to also align this a bit here 
something like this save this one and now let's see what's going to happen ah why my css design is again reverted back okay so my css is now working if i now press this can right click and click on this view page source so it's open all the files and you can see this now it's added this thing which is describing that it's compiling those files so just click on this and yes it's locating those files now just go to this uh, bottom and here i'm going to click on this js files so is my js files are working and yes these js files are perfectly working right the only thing is which isn't working is uh, our images right so now how to uh, uh, pass these images into our application